Alrighty, everyone, hello. As always, I'm Jeremy Godfrey, and today we're going to be uh, streaming uh, a Minecraft scrimmage. We're gonna, that's what we're we'll doing today. Um, about as usual for uh, for Monday. Shouldn't be anything too out of the ordinary. Thank you all for joining us today. Hopefully, more people start uh, making their way in. I don't actually have. Uh, let me get a let me get a handle on that audio. That's kind of loud. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There, we go. that should be that should be a little bit better. But yes, no, we're getting uh we're getting into it. Uh, tell your friends we're starting today. And hopefully, uh, I might have to leave at some point and just leave you with some angles, but. Uh, and I'll be back because I'm getting food at some point. Maybe I'll just I'll call someone over to, you know, pl uh, watch in my stead. But yeah, no, we're gonna be. I don't know where we're playing, uh, of course, because it just says Gretna V dot dot dot. But uh, our bit rate's kind of nutsy, so we're gonna hopefully that'll kick up in a little bit. But yes. Um, Hopefully I will be back with you in a little bit, and we will have a fun time watching Minecraft.
minute. I should not be in this. Oh boy. There we go. All right. So I so I'm on red team. Obviously, that's kind of the case. All right. So looks like we're getting started. <sighs> Oh, uh, looks like we're going strong. It's an immediate bridge. We'll stand back with the, a couple of us stand back with a crafting table block, and let's see what's happening over here. Looks like Blue is building up their resources and walls, playing it safe this round. And uh, Red, we have our first down on Red. Penguin killed Tetra. So there's already some combat. And the bridge has already been breached. This is what happens when we don't defend our bridges early on in the match. We get a guy coming over, so they have a solid form of getting over there. Oh god, the Minecraft music in the background does not match the tensity the, the, the tenseness of this match. Oh okay. The light blue is picked up by the blue. And we got a guy fell out of the world. That's Super silly. That's super. Yeah, there's some combat going on right now. I'm gonna hop out real quick and make sure that the audio levels are fine because this is kind of loud. So it's kind of loud for me, so we're just gonna fix it. There we go. Alright, looks like Tetra's the only the casualty in this right now. And looks like our team has had a solid. Uh, state of uh, defending their bridge they have effectively cut it off and blue has basically cut it off now checking on the other side seeing if there's any new developments as of right now there's not one back on blue and one heading forward actually two back on blue uh, defending the fort making sure that each entrance is at least decently fortified for when red makes its uh, inevitable come at Honestly, good strat by uh, Red this time for uh, using glass. Uh, it's not a very, it's a very breakable material, but Minecraft doesn't seem to care. Alrighty, in a little bit I might have to leave you because a uh, vacuum is gonna come through here. But uh, for now, we'll just enjoy. You'll, you'll know when I have to stop because you won't hear me. So we're just gonna have to kind of lie and wait and see how uh, Gretna plays this. We are. It's kind of a cat and mouse right now. There's nothing... No one's truly making a heavy move. And another guy just fell, I think. Yep. Yep. Oh, shot at. Shot out of the world. And he speed bridge is over. And Dragon Esports right there does not have... And knocked down. So we have a solid PvP here in Piglins. He has taken out at least... He's taken out our team at least three times right now. He's taken out some of our players. No, he's in it to win it right now. Piglin is coming at us. He's coming at us fast. We have to defend this tower. We genuinely... He's 3v1-ing, and he's, uh, he's he took one out, but the other two managed to overwhelm him. So, solid on Gretna, but also solid on Piglin. All right, I can hear the, the, the background echo of the vacuum etching ever closer. So, we're, we're on borrowed time until that sucker is out of here. Retina over here, uh, single player over here, just making a, you know, out in the open shot, not taking any cover. Looks like Blue is trying to secretly sneak over, but this player over here ain't taking it. He gets him. Gets him. Yeah. All right, they're finally taking the advice I gave him. They're not playing like they were last round. They're playing a little more vigilant. They're... Oh, speed bridge coming over. All right, running after him. Will he catch up? Ah, oh, you shouldn't have let him catch up. You should have kept going, man. He would have been cut off, but you also would have been able to survive. Because now there's two more coming at you. Alrighty. So, we have two back on Gretna. Rebuilding the fort. And we have one defending on the uh, rightmost bridge. Uh, we have a left bridge breach. Uh, two from Gretna making an escape. Trying to lure him back. Oh wait, no, no, that's 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 blue, and blue makes it to the tower. Unfortunate, unlucky. 
They've held out for a good five minutes, and he's taken that. He's taken the wool. He has taken the wool. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's taking the wool from us. That does not mean that we are that we are down. It's only a little bit of points. You still get points for taking him out. So we're just waiting. He's making a daring escape. He's getting out of here. Gotta be careful, though. Wool gone. It's gonna be a lot harder. Alright, so we have a breach on the left and an escape down center. And they're making it back. Blue is blue made a hit and run here. And they're making their way back to their fort. Gretna still has a chance to get over there and steal it back. And blue wins. Never mind. They did not have a chance to steal it back. Solid match though. Gretna's playing a little bit better than they did last round or uh, last game. And it's only one game in a set of three, so we're we're still going strong here. Alrighty, I'll leave you. I'll leave you with just the sound of nothing until next uh, next match. All right, we're getting back into it. Start time in about three, four seconds. Uh, I think this is the map here. I think it's gonna drop. Nope, it dropped me into observer. Thank God. Oh, nope, never mind. We're not starting. We're just switching matches. We're just switching, switching maps. So my personal thoughts right now is that with what we've seen last time of this map, it's really easy to lose sight of the other team. So what I think Gretna can do a little bit, we we were super duper good about being visual uh, vigilant on the last match, but we have to uh, kind of pull together and play a little smarter, because none of us I don't presume are great at uh, one on one PvP, but to compensate for that we could probably clump up a little bit more. We could take a two v one strategy because that makes it a little uh, it's, it makes it less likely that you're gonna get like destroyed. If you know what I mean. So, and that vacuum hasn't come yet, so. I think these, these matches usually end before the vacuum comes, so. They're, they're not very long. So, welcome to our two viewers. Uh, appreciate y'all always coming around. Um, I don't know who's who right now. Whatever team they change me to um, will probably be the team that I'm watching. Last I checked, they were red. So, I don't know if they're going to... Yeah, so we're red. Sean will go to know. With this map, it's a little easier to uh, defend because, you know, you got there, there, and a little, like, sky mode, essentially. So, looking around the map, biggest advantages I can see is setting up a stable uh, bridge. 
and you know that's kind of a tired age tale but it's all down to being basic here they're not it's a it's not a play for keeps per se but it's it's a, it's a play in general so we got to be careful use what resources we got cut them down so yeah until this match starts i'll leave you with just this kind of view of the map and I do hear the vacuum now, so we might have to stop talking pretty soon. Alrighty, everyone, I'm back. Uh, vacuum has left the room. Uh, Alright, so what we learned from the last match is that blue team plays very aggressively. They build fast, they build hard, and they get in there. And so their bridge is kind of stagnating so that they can kind of take both sides. Right now, what we should be worrying about is defending, uh, defending our entrances, less fe defending our fourth, which is always good. It's always necessary. But these guys are good at PvP. They're good at PvE. 
And they're already in there. Yep. 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 Already taken. And so, good God, our team is not... Our team is struggling a little bit. Especially with, like, last match. They're... Alright, there's one down by Tetra. Okay. So, what I think we can do to pull through on this is... He's got the wool right now. This little fella. This guy. I'm looking at him. He can't see me, but I'm in front of him. We have to... We, we gotta kill him. That's It's pretty basic. We gotta kill him. We have to kill him. It's... Pretty simple. It's... It's that. And we did not... Their setup game was much, much faster and much, much stronger than ours was. And so, getting into it, they had the advantage. We don't have to let them keep it, but it might end up being that because blue is playing a level of aggressive that we are not used to. Dog just.